Yeah. Speaking of which, Steven Crowder. Good, but more important. Friend of the show, is, actually. They say we need a black jo- Oh, dude, yeah. Friend of the show, Steven Crowder. Um, has this, I've been wanting to talk about this. I've been waiting to, to do it with you. Yeah. These guys are so openly, they're just openly racist. Ethan, this is the 52nd one. It, there is, this gets so much worse. The, really? There is. Yeah. Oh, this I, was, by the way. Oh, Steven I watched Crow- the full, Steven- I watched the full one. Oh, so pull that up, Dan. Steve, this is a short. This is an epic hashtag short yeah. on his own channel. Yeah, no, I love when um, I love when he's like, yo, this racism hit different. Like, we got to cut this shit out and put it as a Yeah, short. for sure. Like, we got to take advantage of the SEO. This shit slaps, dude. Also, overwhelming like majority. Let me do my part here. <laughs> so fucking stupid, bro. So here he, they are losing their minds over the prospects of a black James Bond. Here oh, go. it's, it's good. But more important <laughs> is they say we need a black. J- I have no problem. Nobody said we need a black James Bond, but go on. With a black James Bond. As long as it's yes, a girl. Wait, uh, yes. You fucking lie. Jesse, I have no Clearly problem with do. a black James Bond, which is why Let I'm going to talk about it. need to uh, be the most openly racist person you've seen since 1920. Dude, it's so bad. Oh. Right. No. Oh. What? <laughs> but the issue here what? is. Go super woke. Why do you need All the way. a black James Bond? This- Nobody needs a black James Bond. You literally just said you don't have a problem with it. So move the fuck on. Yeah. This is the issue when people talk about it. It's like you're injecting race where it doesn't need to be. And yeah. Let me just say this one thing. <clears throat> I think that's what this they're is doing. one area when people yeah. talk about it black james bond there is no lack of representation of black american men in the action hero genre wait, 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 you pause you it. Ha- wait hold on first of all there is one thing that james bond can't be mm-hmm. and that's american that's it okay why is he saying black American, James oh, he's Bond? Said black American, and no what one it, is even like bringing uh, up Michael B. Wait, Jordan as James he, Bond. They're talking about fucking Ed, Idris Elba. Elba, an English yeah. dude, very so, English. Yeah, suave English dude. That's James Bond. Yeah, no, he wait, would he work said, perfectly. He said black James American. This is one area when people talk about it. Black James Bond. There is no lack of representation of black American men. You fucking dumbass. Dude, he's Black like American. You know what it is? I think like he's just so horny to be racist that he like he t- saw forgot. The he just like he, <laughs> his brain doesn't <laughs> have a lot of operating power, so right. he's just like using all of it to be like, mm, I'm just gonna to come up with the it, worst dude. thing I can say here. Oh, here I got the full version. Let's watch, dude, this. dude, yeah. dude, dude. I, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's like first of all, they go on for like 20 minutes, and secondly. Cause like, wait, what the fuck is it? Is this it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's okay. like that's I, I'm pretty sure it's a full one. Is <laughs> yeah, they say we is. need a black. J- I have no problem with a black James Bond as long as it's okay. the girl who played Precious. Right? No. Oh, what? <laughs> but the issue here what? is go super woke. Why do you need way. a black James Bond? This is the issue when people talk about it. It's like you're injecting race where it doesn't need to be. And yeah. let me just say this one thing. This is one area when people talk about it. Black James Bond. There is no lack of representation of black American men in the action hero genre. We don't need more black action heroes. Yeah. There's too many black action heroes, man. Yeah. I'm I'm so <laughs> mad right now. I'm so mad that there's a the prospect of a <laughs> Look, I'm an unshakable cons- uh, conservative until the moment that there is a black James Bond, in which I am shook. I'm, I am shook. Yeah, it's unacceptable. Yeah. I'm shaking. If you were to have Will Smith at his peak, right? Will Smith, Men in Black, Independence Day, and run it opposite a James Bond vehicle on the same weekend, Will Smith would have decimated it. Will Smith. He's Denzel like, Dude, it's just not Leonard fair. Trump. I mean, it's fucked up that these black superheroes are just owning the market. Yeah, Where's our good white-blooded? Yeah. We have one thing, guys. blooded white God-American action heroes. Yeah, for, for a British, uh, you know, British spy. <laughs> yeah. I lo- Bro, I bet. By the way, that's got to be untrue, right? There's got to be way more white action. Mo- he goes, Will Smith. I mean, there are, there are there are definitely there are black action heroes which they will get into. Oh, they will get okay, into let's it. Watch. Let's just watch. Jamie Fox is an action hero. <laughs> Jamie Fox. Okay. There are shafty. Of- Motherfucker, the last film he was in was Shazam. No, he said he said Shaft. Uh, he's talking oh, about Shaft, which also is an in- incredibly outdated reference. You're you're digging deep there, buddy. Yeah. Of black. Male. Also, Shaft was like black exploitation. That wasn't even like yeah. a mainstream. That wasn't like a blockbuster. Yeah, yeah that was not a blockbuster yeah. superhero. <laughs> like, <laughs> fucking hell. 
action heroes. Richard Roundtree is and will always be the only chef. Uh, he will uh, only be yeah, the only one. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay. I, look, I think it makes sense to have a black James Bond. I don't. I don't have a problem with it what? because so wait, pause for a second. I got to point something out here. So like you know, this is the peanut gallery. I've, I'm a big fan of Steven Crowder. I watch him all the time. Yeah, yeah. So like, so I've always said this, but I was just I'm going to repeat it. Like I feel like. Amongst white people, there's like a there's like a there's like a pecking order of racism, and the more racist you can get, it's like a superpower. Mm. The more racist you can get, the closer you get to Stephen Crowder. So like the gremlin that's oh, sitting next to him, his racism like Jesus at the it, table at the yeah, supper. Exactly. Like he, his racism levels are like off the charts. That's why he gets to sit there. Right. You will find out why. This guy, pussy, can't even be racist enough. So, that's why he's back there. He's back. Right. He's like, oh, I don't care about Black James Bond. It could be cool. It's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Watch true. me be super racist. Just wait. That's that's a very interesting observation. Yeah, well, because I like, actually have the same thing going on here with Dan being <laughs> racist. And, yeah, I'm uh, not. I'm, well, no, I'm not racist enough. That's why I'm back yeah, that's here. why I'm here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, but it's you'll see. It, think about the clan, like the Grand Wizard. If you've ever Crowder. seen like those interviews and stuff, yeah, Grand Wizard Crowder. Yeah. Like if you've seen if you've seen interviews with like uh, you know clansmen and stuff, like the Grand Wizard's some like crusty, pasty old dude. Like why is he leading the pack? Because he's the most reason. He's like coming up with the most creative, innovative. Slurs. Yeah, they're like, damn, that boy right there. I never, got- I never knew that uh, <laughs> we could make something racist out of corn on the grill. Yep, that's right. That motherfucker can make anything racist, man. This we man right here, wizard. yeah, this man right here is innovative with his racism. <laughs> he he, he found racism in ways I never dreamed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. that's right. He, he's just gonna always so be to the back. The innovate, most innovative. Yeah, of course. Well, Crowder is just like you know, he's 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 the he's the main guy. So yeah. All right. Um, let's, let's watch this through. Zero sense. I think it's Bond perfectly fine. Really, it makes sense to Ian have Idris Elba on a tarmac undercover yes. in Siberia. It, oh, where is this spy? I don't know. The only not white thing in whole Peru. Yeah, it's not good. He said the like only not white thing. Yeah. Yeah, like thing. Okay. So that we're we're getting heated up. That's he's like, true. He's like, like he's like, warming dude, up, dude. That's not like oh, oh, Black James Bond. He only goes to Siberia. There's no other subplot yeah. that inclu- could include a black person. Trust me, okay. The British colonized the entire fucking planet, dog. They can go to Africa. There's a lot of black people there. Also, there's black people in the UK. Which Stephen Crowder, I don't know if he's familiar with there this or not. There are definitely black people in the <laughs> yeah, UK. Yeah, and, and correct me if I'm wrong. There may even be black people in. Siberia? Yeah, that's that's also a thing. You that know, can happen. here's another. They're funny like, whoa! Thing. And Crowder's mind. This black guy's walking around Siberia. Whoa! What the fuck? Yeah, you know what's really you know what's really funny about that too. White James Bond goes to Africa all the I, time. Yeah, yeah like I, literally all the fucking time. Like in a, and, and that in Africa, people are seeing the white James Bond be like, ah, yeah. I can't deal with this. It's this guy. He's, a spy. he's clearly a spy. He's yeah. white. He's a white guy here. <laughs> yeah, Stephen has a problem with the plot. He said, "Look, we. It's not that I don't like black people or black James Bond. It just it doesn't." make sense in the plot people will never yeah. buy a black spot yeah it's just, buy it. how are you this bent dude it's so funny it's just so ridiculous going to need you to be at the ball and ready to meet our contact at eleven forty three, and then they're like guys it's 1 30 <laughs> <laughs> so making straight up fucking oh, black yeah. people are late jokes oh yeah well 100 like how, how can you fucking still how can you be doing that in yeah, this no. day and age well, the it's thing is, like, up fucking racial stereotype jokes. You can't even bring like, that act show on the road. Yeah, you you can make like you can make funny jokes about the prospect of a black James Bond. Oftentimes, they're going to be made by black people, and they're actually going to be funny. When this guy's doing it, right? It just comes across like your fucking dad. Okay, your your dad who's your like racist dad. Yeah, your racist dad who's just like, uh, you shouldn't say that. Like that's you know not even like funny. It's only funny because they're like. Yeah, black people are lazy. That's why they think it's funny. Oh my god, dude! I can't believe that they're just. Res- I mean, it's just so open. What's crazy? Either is when it's I just they're heating up, this they didn't even get started. They're heating yet. up. Yeah, I mean, and then this is so well received on on their of their audience, and it's like that's the problem here is that people don't. This is just the gateway to racism, and people see this and they think it's okay to just walk around. Jo- this is a room full of white guys. Joking about black stereotypes. I mean, 
This yeah. is the kind of thing that they would lose their fucking mind about when someone else was like, oh, well, white guys are this way. And they would be like, dedicate a whole show to defending the white race. Where is our spy? <laughs> Look, the, the, the script would God, have you to guys change are so a little. Funny too. Granted. <laughs> no, but I think you. I Did think you that turn makes my Ferragamos into a phone? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's, he's I have a what does that mean? Uh, is Ferragamos is shoes. Like, you turn my shoes into oh, a phone. Oh, because they like sneakers or something? Because, like, well, he, I think he's just basically saying, like, uh, you know, that that's like a normal one. Just wait. Here, Steven Crowder will make it really, really good You now. see how proud they are? I feel like they're so proud that they found a way to be racist in a way that can, like, slip under the radar for them to get be on YouTube. You know what's funny? Like, I mean, I, I say this all the time, but, like, this is the long way of saying the N-word. <laughs> Like this is literally like <laughs> whenever they whenever they do <laughs> this, it's like scary. like he, they just can't say it. They want to, they right, can't. Right. So they're just like doing everything else around it. Right. It's like the zodiac code for the N word. Yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you. What the what fuck is was this? my watch in my car? I can't. You you I can't see the plate on the car. I'm, you know what's gonna happen with five oh? I'm getting pulled over for that shit. I can't do that shit. Dropping spikes and shit. I. <laughs> No, I don't Roger Moore moon rake motherfucker. And the problem is then he's I can't believe this. Bro, my man is spitting, dude. He he thinks he's like he thinks he killed that. He, the he, last time I saw him do that was when he was doing like the picking cotton black guy, like black there's no such thing as black farmers. And then he get suspended for that? Because he's no. back to the black shit. It's called parody. Oh, this parodying was, a black yeah. uh, the black race. Yeah. yeah. The African Americans. Well, he is Canadian. You know, Justin Trudeau also. Oh, here you go. Uh, Steven Crowder would make a great <clears throat> James Bond. Uh, <laughs> James Bond has returned. The beautiful white uh, savior, yeah. Steven Crowder, as James Bond. Uh, but he quickly, he's got to return. He's got to finish, uh, complete his mission before his heart stops ticking. So yeah. it's, uh, it's like, time against the clock. It's like that Jason Statham uh, movie. Was it Crank? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah Crank. Mm -hmm. He just has to be like more racist. He has to be more racist. Like his heart stops if he can't be racist. So he's just gonna like Im increase the stakes wow, over and over that's again. That's exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Work on that one, Cam. I want to see Crank, Steven Crowder, Crank. Yeah, you don't even have to think about it, dude. So, um, yeah, this shit's crazy. I mean, it's just it's insane, and it's so fucking racist, and also so unfunny i mean if you're gonna be racist at least be funny but they're just i didn't want to say it but yes that's precisely what i was yeah. also thinking where I mean, it's like like there is there are jokes you can make there are definitely edgy jokes that you can you know do and some of them will not be well received because that's just how it is okay but like that's the the worst part about it is obviously the racism, but the second worst part about it is that it's not even fucking funny. It's just a black stereotype that's super racist, and but there's no joke. Yeah, he's doing like a fucking minstrel show, right? And 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 this is like why well, he should just he should just go come in blackface. And yeah, what's he, to stop him from doing that? That's what I'm saying. It's like it's wild to me. Blackface with Crowder because it's, not funny. <laughs> it's so it's outdated. It's unfunny. He's not even doing a good job. It's it's yet, wild. Yet, almost a million views. And I think universal well, acclaim from his fans. You know what I think though? I think this is more so about like it's not just the racism, because uh, that's like you know it's whatever. It's like super bottom of the barrel. Mm. First of all, mm. it is a super bottom of the barrel fucking type of. Uh, it's hacky. Yeah. Right. Um. But it's also the reception from liberals that they're like fantasizing about. I feel like, oh, the libs are going to get so mad at this. Ooh, it's going to be so funny. And it's such a like, that's such a sad way to live your life. Like I never, I never operate that way. I'm never like, oh, I'm going to do something. And then mm, I can't wait for the conservatives to send me death threats over it. Like that's such a pathetic fucking way to live. You're so cucked to liberals. Yeah, you know? it's like. It's been like that for a while where everything they do is just operating on lib liberal tiers. And it's amazing how yeah. um, that's like all they have. Yeah, I'm going to own the libs by doing like, you know, black 18th century uh, shit into 18th century racism. <laughs> what with like, you know, 1980s era jokes. He's also begging to be banned on YouTube so he can like make a Patreon and fucking do a whole like uh, song and dance about oh, censorship yeah. and stuff. Oh, 100%.
He's going to take out the the anti aircraft guns to put in subwoofers. Uh, hit the I button. Say, yeah, look, like that's what I mean. Like oh, black like, people like listening to loud music and like you know. You know, put subwoofers. Black in the car. James Bond took out the anti-aircraft missiles and installed subwoofers. Dude, <laughs> oh. you, know, you, you know what kind of jokes that is? Like that's Clint Eastwood, bro. That's like that's literally like what are you, Grand Torino? Like you're the you're you're fucking right. like f- you know thirty whatever years old. Okay, <laughs> why are you making jokes like a grandpa? I'm a little offended that people aren't talking more about this though, because like if this was like a Jewish joke, for example, and he was like, "Oh yeah, how oh he's like J- Jewish James Bond stumbles into an oven," I oh, feel like people would be more angry about that. One hundred percent, yeah. yeah um, but somehow that's, this is just cool to do. Turbo, that just right. plays Drake. I'm sure he would do yeah, that too, though. I, I, I yeah, just sit in a bar and then Ben Shapiro would defend him. Explode. Yeah. He's yeah. like, it's just jokes, people. Okay, yeah. uh, uh, this is the freedom of expression that we've. Uh, uh, facts don't care about your feelings. Okay, yeah. uh, yes, the Jew- yes, millions of Jews were killed in the Holocaust, but the, you know, there's there's nothing we can't joke about. And well, Stephen Crowder's a great guy. Yeah, Stephen uh, Stephen Crowder was actually bringing attention to the Holocaust. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Spit in my mouth. Look in my eyes. And he's like, is it Wednesday? <laughs> <laughs> Look, we didn't say put Chris Rock in the role, okay? Like, he's not going to be that he's guy. He's trying to salvage you. Idris yeah. Albert, Rock. Nah, bro, Tucker, you're out. Way, right? Idris- you're fucking out, bro. You already yeah, said you don't have a problem you're with cut. Black James Bond. You're fucking out. Move his, stick, move his desk yeah. back. Yeah, he's further back now. <laughs> well, he's going to be out of the studio. Go with he you. Would be I think good. it would be awesome. great I think he would role. be a good gym. My point is here. It's they, but it doesn't make have it to be. It doesn't have to yeah. be. And my issue is they say, well, we need better representation. This is an issue where it's pretty equal. Yeah. It's I pretty so. equal. I mean, look, James yeah. Bond was right. You're talking about Fleming. You go back to Broccoli. You go back to the yeah. history. It's just, it's a white guy spy spying on white people. <laughs> I know. We, we, it's a white on white spying. That is the limit of James Bond. Get the, the blacks white, out. Only white people are allowed in James Bond. Yeah. The bad guys are white. The good guys are white. End of yeah. story. This is literally not true. Again, James Bond goes to Africa all the time. <laughs> like all the time. To think that uh, the British did not, uh, you know, colonize uh, the African nations in any capacity or have no business there is uh, insane to me. Yeah, I think it's I think it's worth the, I think the defining characteristic of James Bond is not that he's white. It's that he's English. Yes, that's precisely it. That, and that by the way, the so like I guess they're, they're referencing Idris Elvis, who I think would be an amazing James Bond. And I think most people are like, that sounds really cool. I because people like Idris Elba as most do people I. are normal. Yeah, but then they make it all about race and then complain that people are injecting race where it doesn't belong. When everyone was just like, I like that actor. Oh, here we go. Speaking of which, um, there here's a great one. Steven Crowder is KK Crank. <laughs> The Grand yeah. Wizard. Yeah, he, uh, he has to. He has to increase the racism level. Yeah, KKK over and over K-K crank. Interesting. His heart will literally stop. That's a fu- now. That's an exci- That's an adrenaline rush right there, boy. Yeah. 